Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. I'm Louis Aguirre. Here's a look at the stories making headlines on this Friday. We begin with the latest on Hurricane Helene, which made landfall near Perry as a Category 4 storm late last night. Crews in Steenhatchee are now focusing on rescuing residents stranded by floodwaters. They're also surveying the damage caused by Helene. Our cameras captured heavy debris and a home washed into the, onto the road. Locals are now working on repairing their homes. Two people dead after a fire ripped through a home in Northwest Miami Dade this morning. Police believe there was an altercation in a home near 19th Avenue and 53rd Street before the fire began. Paramedics transporting a man and woman to Jackson Memorial Hospital, but they did not survive. Police arresting a man that was on the scene, but it's not clear how he was involved or if he will be charged. A big payout for Little Havana businesses who took on Joe Carroyo. The Miami City Commissioner agreed to pay $12.5 million to settle a lawsuit that accused the city of carrying out a vendetta against a group of Little Havana businesses. The company who owns the ball and chain nightclub and Taquerias El Mexicano alleged that the city carried out several code enforcement raids and proceeded to weaponize various departments in the city in order to enforce multiple violations targeting the businesses. Only on 10, a man arrested after he was accused of stealing thousands of dollars worth of liquor. Our cameras there as police escorted Richard Love into custody. Love, a former employee of Big Daddy's Wine and Liquors in El Portal, is accused of ringing up small dollar amounts and then taking off with the high priced booze. Officers say Love stole an estimated forty-five dollars to $60,000 worth of liquor. He's currently facing a second degree grand theft charge. As breaking, breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates. Have a great night.